Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox and we are here with our World of Wolves challenge. If you want to read the rules for that again, if you missed out on them last time or you just want a refresher, we actually have a Google document in the description if you want to check that out uh, so you can catch up on that. But here we are, we've made a good start. We just got our woodland biome going, which is one of the four biomes we're going to use to populate this world. And um, overall, things are going pretty well. So let's take a look at... Uh, this oak tree, we can we can actually get a sycamore tree here. I'm going to place in some elm trees. We'll keep the default colors for the ones in this region. And then if we have any mutations, we'll kind of spread them off into a variant area. Um, now, let's go ahead. What tasks are we working on? We're working on gone fishing. Uh, we need to get an apple a day. And we need to get the woodland biome one, which we've actually almost completed except for the sycamore trees. So, to get a red maple, we need... Okay, we could also get the wobbly tree here, which I think we'll start working on. Um, we'll do this. And we should have enough DP before too terribly long, I think. Hopefully. This one might... No, it's not gonna die. It's a tree. They die slowly. Thankfully, that makes it easier to work with trees. And we actually have enough DP here. Uh, so, let's go see two. I wanted to look... So, for this, we would need a color trait of red so I think they don't spread they no, they don't spread the grassland biome and it has to be above 35 meters so we would have to go all the way up here basically towards the top of this or what about here yeah the, up at the top here would actually work so let's go ahead we'll place in some grass uh, we kind of have this this will be a bit of a unique area I should have um, Dang it, I should have, I was going to color them, but let's look at, so to get wild mint, we just need a bigger size trait, so I want to add some sort of color here. We have a couple different natural colors. I, we can't afford any, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this area the same color for now. I'm trying to add diversity where I can, but we're kind of limited by uh, the amount of money we have right now, so we'll come back in later and add more of it so we're not going to actually selectively breed this we just need this area to uh, kind of have some uh some grassland biome here so that we can support birch trees so that we can mutate birch trees so i'm not going to place one in until we have more dp and i believe so it, we need uh, 2900 and how much does it cost to get the red color uh if we look at this one it costs okay a lot <laughs> so we got to start saving up now but I think, okay, we got a wobbly tree. We also have a sycamore tree, which is nice. So let's go ahead, we'll put that down. And then we also got a wobbly tree. Now the wobbly trees are gonna be a little bit tough to work with because they like birds and we don't have any birds yet. Um, and so as you can see here, uh, they're, they're not super happy. Do they have, they only have one liked species. And so it's gonna be a little difficult to deal with them until we get the sparrows. That was the problem we were running into in uh, Avalon Isle that I didn't realize. But we do have this nice area over here that uh, is, is pretty good. Now the trouble is the only bird we have unlocked is the chicken. And so we need to work on unlocking the sparrow, but we need more of a woodland biome for that, I believe. What does it even take? Um, it takes a diet of barley. And to get barley, I believe that comes from oregano, which there was some other condition we needed to meet, I believe. Um, if we go here... No, it's not from oregano. It's from... I don't actually know what it comes from. If we look here, it should tell us. I think it's from heather, actually. Um, barley from heather, which comes from rosemary which we probably need to place in the world somewhere then. So we have our woodland biome over there. Uh, I'm gonna put our forest biome over here, although it likes to be a little higher up. What is its liked species? I don't think there's anything that we can have. It likes trees. Yeah, we don't have any woodland trees yet. So this is gonna be another one that's not the greatest to keep alive. You can see it's not very happy, but we can at least get it started. What does it take to get Heather? Um, fallen fruit and rocks and stones. We need to get on that apple tree here. What does it take to get an apple tree? Um, biome 10% forest and satisfaction of 50%. So we need to get an oak tree down here. And 
we can start, we can just get started on the apple tree as soon as we have enough DP here, which it's going to take a little bit to earn up to that. Thankfully, we are making a thousand per minute now, which is a lot better than what it was. And again, we are going to be progressing very, very fast through this series. I'm not going to slow down too much because we want to get to the point where we can actually play around with the wolves and stuff. So we'll get started on that, but I also wanted to look at the water lilies. What does it take to get water lilies? We can actually just start right now as soon as we have enough DP. So we just need uh, we just need the water lilies, and we need enough, uh, enough red fish, which that one's kind of being flaky about it, so we'll start with this one, uh, which might actually get it before it finishes. Uh, and that'll just help make this area a little bit more hospitable for our fish, and it'll help us complete the quest. Now, the thing I want to do here with this water biome is I want to continue to expand it because fish are actually really, really good at uh, making DP. Uh, they, they do extremely well, and um, we can continue to spread this down. I'm going to put in the rocks here. We got an apple tree finally. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll grab that. We will place this right here. It should be happier there. It's actually reasonably happy. It wants animals though, so we have to let it grow up a little bit and uh, then we'll be able to put animals in. We just don't want them dying straight away. So now we need to save up some DP. We actually need to save up a lot of DP if we can because uh, we need to unlock the red maples and get, okay, we got gone fishing, so that actually gave us a lot of money. Okay, we might even be able to do this now, then. Uh, let's place this in here, and if we just go straight to selective breed, we should be able to get red, yes. And now, if we look at this, the color trait has to be red, the altitude has to be above 35 meters, we should be good to go with that one. So we've got the, we're working on the apple quest. Uh, we need ducks now, so what does it take to get ducks? If we come over here, we got some hungry chickens, so to get ducks, we just need water lilies. And so we could possibly even place one. It needs more water. Okay, suitable biome 0%, so we need to put some seaweed in here. But this will be our little duck pond. <laughs> and um, we can place that in. That should start to change the biome. The kelp may not be the happiest here unless we can fit a rock in here. And maybe some kelp? Yes. We're going to have a tiny little micro ecosystem in this pond here. It's going to be amazing. Let's put in a water lily. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't have a slight species of fish. So let's place in some trout. We'll keep them at the default color here. Uh, it needs more water. Oh, there we go. We have just enough room to put it there. And if we look at the red fish, can we change their color? Um, we can. How much does it cost? Uh, we could change them to orange. Sure, we'll do that. We'll just save up enough to get that in. We can now get the woodland biome task. Yay, that gave us a lot of DP, so we don't even really need to save up anymore. We'll just place in this red fish if I can find a good spot for it. Maybe we can clear out some things and uh, give it some space. Because it should be able to go right here, right? There's got to be... Do they have more of an environmental requirement? They... it doesn't say. Um, if we clear out some of this... Um, oh, we can't... okay, we can place the trout, like, right around this kelp, so we can put that in. We can put in a redfish, and then we can selectively breed the redfish to have the orange color, just so that it's a little bit distinct. And then we'll put in water lilies as well, and we'll selectively breed those too. So we can put that right here. And we can just go ahead, we'll select a breed for... We can't afford any of these. Uh, let's just fast forward a little bit here. And we should earn more. I shouldn't have placed it so quickly. <laughs> uh, but we, we're close to being able to afford this. When we can start to afford things, I want to roll with it. So we could go with red. That'll be the easiest. We'll do red water lilies here. We'll clear out that other one when we have... In fact, you know what? We won't We won't clear out this other one. We'll use this other one because it's younger and it'll have more chance. And then we'll clear out this one. And now we should be able to get ducks, right? Yeah, we can get ducks. So we just need to, once again, build up our DP. And we have like a little microcosm here in, our, in this tiny little pond. That's amazing. I actually love this pond. Uh, this is It's a very, very nice pond. So, let's see. We've got our first orange redfish, which is a little bit of a paradox if you ask me. 
Uh, we don't have enough DP for ducks though, so let's keep fast forwarding. We'll push through this. What else are we working on? We're working on uh, up here and we're working on the apple tree over here. So let's place in some sheep so that uh, we have something to eat the apples and something to make the tree happier. Um, we'll continue to add more... Okay, so we, to get Heather, we need more rocks and stones. We'll place some of these in. And uh, if we have this drop its fruit, then this should be able to start breeding Heather. That took away from the ducks, unfortunately. Uh, but now we can get the quest for the apple a, a day. And now we got the tall tree species, which will make everything a lot easier because we can make the rosemary happier. And we can start working on the duck here. So let's go ahead. We will get the tall trees in. These will spread the forest biome. So we can place some of them right around here. And um, that will help. Uh, we don't have enough DP for that one. Uh, we should soon, though. So the, uh, the heather is continuing there. Oh, now we don't have enough fallen fruit. Now we do again. And we got a duck, so that's good. We can just place this duck right by the shore here. Uh, should be good. All right. And now we got the heather. So I think we can place that here and it should be fairly happy. No, it's not. Its altitude factor is not ideal. So for heather, we need a lot, actually. I believe it likes to be even lower down. That's the difference between the rosemary and the heather, I believe. And what do we need to get the barley from this? It just needs to be near forest trees. So that's not too difficult to accomplish. So I'm going to turn this off. Or no, we can't turn it off yet. But uh, what other tasks do we have? So we need boars. We need ducks. We need carrots, which we also need rabbits for those. We need deer. What does it take to get deer? We can already get wild boars when we have enough DP for it. So we, we'll start working on that right away. And, uh, I, because I think that'll be the next best thing we can do here. We'll probably move the sheep out of this area once we have, um, okay, we can start here. Unless, does this, does this quest require, no, okay, it's just production, so it doesn't matter what eats them. All right, uh, now let's move, or, well, uh, we are running out of, uh, DP again. This is gonna be the major holdup for us, so we need the ducks. Why, why are the ducks not satisfied? Where is the duck? The duck's right here. It should be pretty satisfied, right? It should be soon. And then the deer, I think, are in the woodland biome. And so if we look over... Look, let's find our sheep and take a look. Uh, to get the deer... Oh, no, I want to see what the requirements are. Woodland and the diet of fruit bushes. So what fruit bushes do we have? We go to bushes... Fruit bushes, tomato plant, needs the task Grassy Plains. So what task is that? Do we have it? We do. So we need red maples, wild mint, and wobbly trees, which we already have. So wild mint comes from grass here. All you need is a bigger size trait. So let's see where our grass is actually at uh, in size. It's pretty small. Oh, no, that's not... Uh, that's, that's wheat. <laughs> Let's look at the grass and see where our grass is at in size. So this one, we should be able... Oh, we have one right over here. Okay, I'm going to transplant this over here. I hope it's not dying. It's not, but we can actually start getting the mint already then. So we'll work on that. And then up here, we can work on the uh, red maple. Because these should be high enough up that we can actually do this. And we should just be able to start right here. And then over here, things are going pretty well. We almost have our boars in the game. A uh, few hungry animals, but it doesn't seem to be anything too terrible. We probably need more food for the chicken, and now we have our first wild boar. So let's place you right here. You should be fairly happy. We don't have the cedar trees yet, which is something we will need. But I'm going to place a few, or what we need, what we need is, um, how do we get the cedar trees? They come from here, right? We need a large size trait, so let's look at uh, our size trait currently. Uh, I'm going to start removing any of the ones that are a little smaller because, okay, this one we want to keep. I'm actually going to transplant that when I have the chance because I want to spread this down by the heather further. And uh, we also have our first wild mint, so we'll go grab that in a moment. And we have our first red maple, so we'll also go grab that. So let's transplant this one down here so it's actually closer to the heather. 
and then we'll come back up here. We'll take a look at our red maple, which I think should just live right here. It's pretty happy. Uh, it's just because the biome isn't the most suitable thing in the world. And then our wild mint, I think we can just place around here. It spreads grassland, right? Yeah. And uh, so we'll just let those continue to spread, and that will get us a quest complete eventually as well. Uh, what else do we need to do? We should start working on these, but that's going to be a harder quest to complete. But uh, how do we get carrots? So if we look at this, we should have carrots, I think, on this page. Yep, here. So it comes from Wild Mint. What does it take to get carrots? Um, it takes rabbits. And so what does it take to get rabbits? It's guinea pigs, right? Um, yes. So what do guinea pigs like? Let's actually go back and see. Uh, they like grassland, forest, and woodland. They eat fallen fruit, vegetables, nuts, fruit bushes, herbs, and grasses. So let's place you over here, well, when we have enough DP. And uh, we'll start working towards getting rabbits then. So down here we have a 1.01. .01. Hopefully that'll continue to grow because we want to get cedar trees. And in fact, I wonder how much it would cost if I go here. How much does it cost to get a better size? A lot. A lot. Um, to get six, yeah, we'll go for that. And hopefully it'll, <laughs> hopefully this will pay off in the end and make things a little bit more quick, a uh, little bit faster so that we can get through this more quickly. All right, we'll leave this be and then I'm gonna come back. What quests are almost done? This one's almost done. We just need more red maples, which it'll take a little bit for those to grow. Um. We could get tropical seaweed, I guess. So what does it take for the tropical seaweed? This is, it's a water biome, so we're allowed to have it here. So we just need the biome to be 15% tropical. So to do that, we're gonna have to unlock the tropical biome on shore. Now, we are allowed to do that. We just can't have it in the end of, when we're when we're finished with the when we're finishing the series, we can't have the tropical biome in the game on land. We'll have to remove it and keep it strictly to the water. So we should be doing pretty well here uh, cuz we the ducks, why aren't the ducks satisfied? I'm not sure why. They're like species, they only have one. What is their other like species? Um oh, they dis wait. They don't... Okay, because they dislike herbivores. Um, their like species are water plants and trees. Alright, we should move the ducks over here then. We'll put ducks down here when we have enough. Because, well, they'll be near herbivores, but they'll also be near trees. Oh, you know what we can do? We can place in a bit of an area around this uh, this one here and they'll be able to live off of that. We could also, we, this could be probably an easier place to isolate them perhaps, so that eventually we can do, but that, that's gonna be in the, the future, because at one point you have to have a duck that eats honey. So let's place this here. That should be enough of a start, I think, to make the duck happy. And uh, we can place it here. It'll have its favorite uh, favorite biomes or favorite things, and then we should be able to get the satisfied duck. All right, how are the boars doing? Well, we need the cedar trees to make them totally happy. I'm gonna actually remove these sheep so that the boar population will thrive, and uh, this should be a better option for them, I think. We'll maybe place in another apple tree here if I can afford it, which I can't. Uh, I just want to make sure these guys will have more than enough food so that they're not going to starve or anything like that and so that we can continue to expand. So how is this doing size-wise though? Oh, we can we can already we can start. When we have enough DP, we can start. So we'll do that before we get another apple tree here. I'm going to fast forward. This is a fairly young tree, so I'm not worried about it dying off. And we can now get the reward for an apple every day. Oh, we need more heather. No. Okay, let's get a reward for that, and then uh, we can also complete the quest Grassy Plains. And an apple every day, I want to turn off of this. So we got the tomato plants. Okay, that's good. Now we can definitely... No, we can't. Okay, well, we can't, because we can, we can just go ahead and buy more heather and put it down here. And that will fulfill the requirement so that we can start breeding this. Let's also look at the tomato plants, because I believe this is what we need to start getting deer... So, if we come over here to the woodland, we don't have any apple trees yet. We can put in tomato bushes here, and uh, it's a fruit bush. As long as we put it in the grassland or the woodland, we gotta put it a little lower down, though. 
So we can put it down here. Let's just spread this biome a slight bit more. We'll place some more... What, what is sycamore species like to trees? They like herbs. So we gotta put more oregano down here. What is its like species? <laughs> um, woodland trees. Okay, so they, they, they're symbiotic, basically. You can put one down and the other will be happier. All right. And then now we're out of DP again, so we wait a little bit more and let it regenerate. We can get the totally quackers uh, one, thankfully. Now we can. Now we have jungle rocks, and uh, we should be able to just place in then a tomato plant right here, and that'll get us started on uh, having deer. So we'll, we'll work with that, and now we just need to wait for this to finish, which it should. It should be fine. What other quests do we now have? So we have pigging out, which we need a guinea pig to eat 30 potatoes. Well, we don't have potatoes yet. We have a lot of satisfied boar, at least. Um, that's pretty good. And they'll be even more satisfied once they have um, the cedar trees in. Oh, a sycamore tree has been born with a strange mutation. That'll be this one. All right, we're going to snag this guy when we can, and we're going to place it in our other biome over there. And um, we'll place some herbs over there, I think. Okay, we got a cedar tree. I'm gonna just, yeah, let's grab this. I think we can just place it here, though. It should be happy. Yeah, it's fine. So let's come back over here. We're gonna snag that and place that in the woodland area we started over here with our mutated buttercups. This is gonna be like a spooky woods. Everything is super dark colored. <laughs> it's gonna be like the haunted woods or something. So we can place that there. It's not the happiest because it doesn't have its like species, and its like species is herbs. Does oregano have color patterns if we look at it? It does not, so we'll just place in some normal oregano uh, when we have enough for it. Oh, please don't die. Okay, we can place some of that in, and that'll make it a lot happier and help spread the biome. Did I place in it properly? No, I placed an oak tree. What was I doing? No, you get out of here, oak tree. I want oregano, not oak tree. That'll make you a lot happier. There we go. We can place some of this in because um, it doesn't have color variations, so it's just always going to look like this. <laughs> uh, but it'll be kind of interesting to see if we continue with this spooky darker themed colors here. It's all purple. It makes me think of like a haunted wood or something. So we'll kind of keep that area over there. But now that we have tomato plants, we should be able to get deer, I think. So I'm going to go find the sheep over here. And I think all we have to do, I believe what I saw earlier, is just to uh, have a or a biome of 70% woodland and a diet of fruit bushes. So we should just be able to grab a sheep, place it down once it's over here, and um, it be able to start have as soon as it goes to eat. That'll be the main thing it can eat. So as soon as it eats, there we go. Now we can start getting deer when we have enough DP, which might take a little while actually. So, oops, um, we don't have any, why are the boar not satisfied? Where do they go? The boars over here aren't satisfied anymore, um, because they're like species, they need cedar trees, right? They, we have stones. Let's place some of these over here, and then I'm gonna let it go a little bit farther so that we have more, um, more DP to buy an apple tree with and put that down here. And we'll let that grow up a little bit more, and then we'll put more boars in. And then they should start to be more satisfied. We could also put cedar trees higher up, possibly. Actually, that's probably the better course of action to start off with. But we want to be able to have two populations, because there only seems to be about three or four boars at a time here. So if we put a cedar tree... No, it only likes the lower altitudes. Okay, that's, that's great. Um... We'll try and uh, place more boars in by hand down here, then... So that should be good. We're going to have some very, very tall, tall trees here <laughs> uh, because we needed them to be taller for the cedar tree. So let's place in another set of boars down here. They should be happier. And hopefully that'll get us the satisfied boar task. So we'll start working on that. It is about time to wrap up the episode. So we're going to just pop back over here real quickly, kind of keep an eye on how the sheep are doing. Uh, we have the sycamore tree is spreading its colors, so that's really cool to see. And these guys should be continuing to eat the tomato plants, basically. Uh, and I think any of them should be eligible. Uh-oh. The diet- oh no, the biome isn't proper, so any of these guys should be- yeah. So as soon as we have enough, we can do that. Um... 
I just want to get the satisfied boars task if we can. So we'll fast forward for a little bit longer, see if we can get everybody down here. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode because we should be pretty close. That or we'll, we'll try and get deer, whichever comes first. Because honestly, at the rate we're progressing, we might be able to just get the deer. And the boars can be a little finicky. I remember that from the last playthrough. So let's just get started on the deer. We'll try and get one of those in first. And we should be able to just start breeding a deer. And then we'll probably remove this sheep population so that we just have deer here. Now we can get this is boring. Perfect. And we unlocked two tasks. So I'm going to just wait for the deer. Why is it on standby? Okay, we still have the diet. So that's good. Um, we've got enough tomatoes. I'm going to remove some of these other ones here so that we can make sure that this uh, sheep doesn't run out of food. All right, and let's place in some more woodland biome around here. I'm going to put in some more oregano. We'll kind of spread it out this way. And we will spread this way with elm trees. And that'll help spread it. And then we'll put some sycamore trees in. And then we can put more tomato plants over here when we have the DP for it. And that should help with the deer. All right, let's come over here. And this is going to be really, really slow. <laughs> um, okay, we're making progress, though. Now it's doing better since we kind of fixed the biome there a bit. Uh, we're at three bars. Yeah, we'll be able to do this before the episode is up, but it'll just be a little bit of a longer episode. Uh, and then after this, we'll go ahead and wrap up for the day. So we're making good headway. We've actually completed uh, 19 of 54 tasks. They do get harder as they go on. And we may not try to complete all of them, even though I really would like that uh, 10 million DP. That would be really, really nice. So we'll see. But we should have a deer any second now. And we'll be able to populate this area. So, yep, we have a deer. Let's go ahead and grab you. We'll place you here. You should be happy. Yep, you're fine. So, we're just going to remove many sheep and just get rid of that whole population. And uh, then now we can have the deer uh, down here. And it should be pretty happy and a pretty good place for them. And that'll be a nice next step in the adventure. So, we've got a lot more tasks unlocked to work on next time. Uh, but we're starting on the oh deer task. We're working on the forest flora and fauna. And we probably want to work on, now that we have a woodland biome, we probably want to get the sparrows soon as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.